Welcome Dolce Magazine, come on into my home. When I was about 11, my mom gifted me, I think it was about $100, although that feels like a lot for back when I was 11. She gifted me the money and told me that I could go ahead and decorate my bedroom to any way I chose. And I actually chose a purple and turquoise theme, which I'm not sure I would choose today, but that's what I chose. And my parents were just so surprised at the work I had done in my bedroom. At that point, I think they actually started conniving in a way like, how can we make a business out of this child. I think that was more how it went down. But definitely when I was about 11, that moment really sticks in my mind. I believe over time, if I've embodied the traditional with a twist by experimenting and growing my confidence level. I really want to set myself apart from other designs and so I really forced myself to experiment. The easiest way I would say to pull it together is to have something that is classic. So this could be a classic fireplace, a classic molding, classic wood floor, something like that then have something that is the complete opposite. So highly modern, highly colorful, really bold, and then have something shiny for a little bit of glitz and glam. With those three elements, you're pretty much guaranteed to be set off uh, on having an Amanda Aaron style room. <laughs> Country House Hunters Canada has been a blessing for me for sure. Being able to work on that show and host that show right off the heels of working on the Marilyn Dennis show uh, was such a big compliment to me. In fact, it was my executive producer for Marilyn that put me forward as the potential host for the show. So when the role actually came to fruition and I was offered, I was thinking, who has the luxury of being able to be paid to travel across Canada, interview Canadians, see the beautiful countryside, and then share with a national audience? Like, honestly, I don't think it gets any better than that. So for me, it's been very life-changing being able to um, understand what Canadians think of design and what's important to Canadians all, at all parts of Canada, not just where I'm mostly centered here in Toronto. Hi, I'm Amanda Aaron, interior designer, and I just finished the most epic interview with Dolce Magazine. If you want to find out what my Dolce Vita is, be sure to check out the next issue.